County Executive Blakeman, uh, in March of this year, County Executive Ed Day from Rockland County and I held a press conference uh, about the migrant crisis in New York and its impact on uh, our county government, uh, specifically on the cost for health and human services, the social safety net programs, the impacts on nonprofit organizations. Uh, a county like Rockland has about 340,000 residents. It's the smallest geographic county outside the city of New York, so it's densely populated. Uh, but we have no cities. We don't have a shelter in the county. And so uh, Eric Adams decided he was gonna start sh sending migrants to hotels in Rockland County and Orange County and other counties across uh, the state. What has been the impact on Nassau County in terms of, uh, you know, it's nonprofit organizations that the county does work with on, you know, housing, shelter, food, uh, you know, what has been the direct cost impact on Nassau County with the migrant crisis? Uh, thank you, Mr. Waller. Well, the impact has not been nearly as great as other areas because we are not a sanctuary county. We will not participate in any migrant program. What we have seen is an increase in crime. We've seen an increase in social services. Uh, basically, our social services right now are pretty stretched. And we have seen migrants who've come over uh, through New York City into Nassau County. And obviously, if it's a, a humanitarian situation, uh, where someone needs immediate assistance, uh, we don't turn people away. We make sure they're stabilized, but then we do not provide shelter as does New York City. So our, our issues are not as profound only because we made the choice not to be part of the sanctuary program. So when you see what's going on in New York City and you see what's going on in other cities around the United States that have accepted uh, this migrant program, uh, they are all under severe stress. I talk with county executives from other parts of the country, and they're all uh, under this financial stress, as well as the stress on, on their, their people who provide the services, who now are having to work overtime and do double shifts, as we, as we talked about, as the sheriff here has mentioned. Uh, we've heard of a lot of situations like that. Thank you. Mr. Awade, is New York City a sanctuary city? New York City, in theory, is a sanctuary city, which means that it is uh, sanctuary, I think, is being misconstrued here. It's no, actually no, a public no, safety with all, with all due respect, I just asked very simply, is New York City a sanctuary city? Is yes. that the policy that was enacted? Does New York City refuse to cooperate with ICE and law enforcement when it comes to immigrants? New York City cooperates with ICE do they? CIS, uh, Border Patrol. What is their uh, level of cooperation, to your knowledge? They have the joint task force that they work together on. They also work together within the confines of the NYPD. They also have a list of, and what you're referring to is what I think you're trying to get to, is the detainers uh, policy, where there's a set list of low-level offenses that New York City does not transfer ICE uh, requested administrative um, notices of people who were in DOC custody to ICE without a judicial warrant. New York City does provide anyone that they, that ICE or whoever from the federal government has a judicial warrant for to said agency. Does New York City have a right to shelter law that they- Yes, and today's its birthday, it's 42 years old. And that has been what has kept most folks off of our streets, keeping uh, as many people as possible, as healthy as possible in the winter months, yeah. So do you agree on its 42nd anniversary, do you agree with uh, Mayor Adams when he says that this migrant crisis is destroying New York City because of the cost uh, to the city to adhere to this right to shelter law? Do you agree or disagree? Absolutely disagree. Um, okay. When the administration Should came the, in, they so, had $5 so, billion dollars that was- I, Reclaiming sunset. my time. When it comes to uh, the decisions of New York City to be a sanctuary city, to not cooperate with ICE to its fullest, to uh, interpret the right to shelter to mean that anyone who comes to New York City, regardless of status, is entitled to housing, do you think that should apply nationwide? Your question is, should... Yeah, do you think that's good policy, and do you think that's something that should be applied nationwide? 
for cities that city states and counties that want to uh, provide the most care for their populations, absolutely. If they want to ensure that when folks fall on hard times or need a little bit of support, that they get that from their local governments, absolutely. Why not? So you think it's going well in New York City? I think that we can be doing better in New York City and we can be doing better with support from the federal government and providing more resources to the city and the state of New York. Yield back. Thank you, Mr. Lawler. I now recognize from New York, Mr. Langworthy. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and I appreciate the opportunity to join.